Basically, the Bible says that abortions are evil. So if you're a Catholic and you're supporting abortions, you are not representing the Bible. You're not re representing what God says. And so that's why you're in cahoots together with this person. Okay, so let's be true. Let's be true with what the word of God says. If you are truly a child of God, if you are truly born again, what, what God says about it settles it. Because the word of God says, take captive of every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bring it into obedience to Christ. If it doesn't line up with the word of God, then you're supposed to bring that thing into obedience to Christ. God says life. You say abortions. Bring that thing in obedience to Christ. God says a marriage between a man and a woman. You say marriage can be between the same sex. Bring that thing into obedience to Christ because God already said a man's not supposed to lay with a man and a woman's not supposed to lie with another woman. Again, persecution for what God says. You're going to either be like those disciples that ran off and hid or you're going to be the type of child of God and a disciple that can stand up to what the word of God says for what the word of God says and lift up your, your banner and say, my father God says this, and this is my faith. I have a right to believe what the word of God says. You know, they are trying to, they are trying to come against our faith. They're trying to change words in our faith. And there are four Supreme Court justices that are up, seats that are up with this election. Why would you as a Christian vote for a person that will go in there and put Supreme Court justices on that who appoints Supreme Court justices who are against your Bible. Tell me why would you do that? Tell me why would you do that? Are you deceived? Why would you do that? Why would you elect somebody? Why would you strengthen the hand of the enemy to go in there and to elect four Supreme Court justices against the things that God hates? Judge yourself. I'm not going to even judge you. You judge yourself. To see if you're coming in the right name in the name of Jesus. And you're coming in the spirit of God. Because Donald Trump, like I said, Donald Trump does have a big mouth. Because, you know, that's part of this. That's that's appealing to me. I like it when a person, I'm not saying what he said according to the flesh 11 years ago. But I'm saying being real. Being real. Being real with what you're saying. Not beating around the bush Hillary on those emails when she was going and talk talk when she would go and do her speeches she would say one thing when she was doing the speeches behind closed doors to the businessmen and then she would go and say another thing to the other the people when she's doing her rallies and doing her uh talk when she's trying to get votes like the hot sauce I got hot sauce in my bag please stop it okay it's coming out that you were deliberately you were to, to be sincere is one thing to have ulterior motives and then another agenda and then for people not to even know how can pastors how can pastors african-american pastors all pastors i'm not gonna just put their names out the race out there but how can you go and support this woman how can you be for her? How can you go and, and support her, endorse her, and say vote for her, and you know that she is for abortions? And now that you know that she is, her, that she, well, how she feels about Catholic, uh, Catholics, how she feels about Christians, how she feels about people who lift up the Bible, and how we believe, you know, that couple who refused to bake that cake, that couple who refused to bake the cake, for that gay couple, it was a couple who refused to bake. They had a bakery business, a baking business, and that to a, a, a gay couple came in there and wanted them to bake a cake for, for their wedding. And they refused and said, no, this is against my faith. I can't bake your cake. But, you know, you can go down the street somewhere. You know, I'm paraphrasing. You can go down the street somewhere and bake your cake. But I can't bake your cake. Because of what I believe. Do you know they went through tons of persecution for that? And they are behind. This administration is behind that. 
You know, a lot of people did not vote for vote for gay marriage when they voted for Obama. They voted for Obama because of the color of his skin. A lot of people. And don't lie and say you didn't because you did. You voted for him because he was black. The first time you didn't know that he was for he was for gay marriage. You didn't know that the first time. But the second time, you knew it. And you still voted for him. Okay? So let that's between you and God. Okay? But he, his administration is against that couple who refused to, to bake that cake. And that lady who refused to give a marriage license out. Because that lady who, gave, who refused to give a marriage license out because of her face, she didn't want to give a, a, a marriage license out to the same sex. Okay, what did all the persecution that woman went, went through? Okay. What, all the persecution she went through just because of her faith. So, you need to, there's a line being drawn in the sand of where you stand. There's a line being drawn in the sand. And I didn't draw the line, but God is drawing the line. God is drawing the line. And it's a time to speak and it's a time to be quiet. Once the president is elected, it's like, that's y'all choice. Oh, well, moving on. But right now, when it's time for this election, this is the time everyone should be speaking and lifting up for God's righteous cause. The Bible says God favors those who favors his righteous cause. So how do you think about what God feels about those who are deliberately going against his righteous cause? Remember what he said, seek the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. You can't say you didn't know. To much given, much is required. And those who have been given much, it's required much. So because you have this information, when you go in there and make your vote, that's between you and that's between you and God. But I appeal to you right now, please do not strengthen the hand of the wicked one. Get your eyes off of their flesh and look at the issues. Grant the forgiveness that you have been forgiven. Grant the forgiveness. God says that we are to forgive one another as Christ has forgiven us. If this man repented for his sin of way, way, the way he was talking, and um, why, who am I to hold that against him? Who are you to hold that against him? I mean, Michelle Obama, God bless. I, what, what I can say about the Obamas, I love the fact that she loves her husband and he loves his wife, and they have beautiful children. So I can say something that positive about him on that aspect of it. So I thank God for that. But all the stuff having to do with gay marriage, that was a deal breaker for me because I'm a Christian. All the stuff having to do with abortion, that's a deal breaker for me because I'm a Christian, okay? And I didn't vote for that, okay? I didn't vote for that. Abortions, I didn't vote for that. Okay, in my past, true enough, I voted for Democrats. But I can't, it's a deal breaker. I can't vote in that party anymore. So what about you? Are you going to still vote along with that party? You need to understand, you need to vote conservatively if you are a Christian. You really should. And you really should think about those things. You really should be proudful. And I'm not voting. This thing is bigger than Donald Trump. This election is bigger than Donald Trump. If it had been Ted Cruz, he would get my vote. If it had been Ben Carson, he would get my vote. If it had been Kasich, he would get my vote. You know why? Because they are against abortions. So the person that we have right now is Donald Trump. And Donald Trump is against abortions. So that's why he's getting my vote. And he will be able to, like I said, appoint those four Supreme Court justices. That's where the decisions are made. We the people, the majority of the people, we get to vote for these people to go in these offices to make decisions that would affect everyone. I used to love going to Target. Target, I used to love going in that store to shop in that store. But guess what? When they changed it, 
where the restrooms are for who, whosoever, if they identify themselves. If a man goes in there and say, oh, I feel like a woman today, he could be dressed like a man. He could have, he could be dressed fully like a man and he is a man. And he said, I identify with being a woman. He is able to go in the restroom with other women. That's this administration. That's what they've done. Did you vote for that? No, you didn't get a chance to vote for it. Because the people who are in office voted for it. And that's how it's going to be done. If you vote for someone and they're in that office, they appoint and with the Supreme Court justices, they will make the decision for you for things that you know are against God's word. So now I just don't go to Target. And I like Target, but if I have to use the restroom, I don't want to have to go in there thinking all of that. I don't want to think about that. So I'll go somewhere else. I'll go somewhere else where there's a restroom for men and there's a restroom for women. And before that, who cares? What, what I wasn't going to go and do an investigation trying to see what, how, what if a woman, if a man, man came in there with a wig on and, and dressed up like a woman. I'm not going to go in the stall and see if he's a man and a woman. So why was it necessary to change it? If they came in there and used the restroom and they look like a woman, I wasn't going to go and do an investigation to make sure that they are, were a woman. So some of this stuff is ridiculous. And these are examples extreme examples of why we should vote conservative so god bless you and i pray in the name of jesus that you really understand things differently now hopefully you will i'm not trying to bring anyone into condemnation with this but at least be wise enough to understand why you are doing what you do don't let them just come in your area and hold a concert bring in some some celebrity and just because that celebrity is endorsing her and now you think oh i'm gonna vote for them because all all of social media on my social media is talking about vote for this person or vote for that person look at put it into obedience to christ look at what god says and then be led by the holy spirit to vote some some people are like oh i don't want to tell people who to vote for i just want them to be smart enough to know who to vote for but a lot of things are secret like i said before the media if they would put that information of all those leaked emails and then the, the thing is so funny because at first it was saying oh hillary didn't come out and say oh no it's not i didn't say those things or they didn't say those things she just said oh the russians we think the russians are hacking and uh we just can't talk about that because the russians are hacking and i think those things are compromised and i just don't want to talk about that so they never did deny it so last night, the guy leaked the codes because the, the, the WikiLeaks, he leaked the codes to prove that these emails were legit. You think the news media talking about that? You have to know, you have to know for yourself and please take Jesus in there with you when you go and vote, okay? But remember who's in control. Our God, our Father is in control. All things all things everything have to bow to the name of jesus he is large and he is in charge but when the people were crying out for a king he gave them a king and he gave them he gave them saul he gave them saul and then he gave them david and that's how we have this system now but we as christians know who is in charge we can pray and we can join together and we can use our faith we can decree and we can declare and we can we can speak the word of god we have angels that are encamped around about us god fights our battles hallelujah the weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world on the contrary they have divine power to demolish strongholds and take captive every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of god and bring it into obedience to christ yes so good vote good vote pro-life okay because jesus is pro-life he came to give life and give life abundantly so father in the name of jesus i pray for the grace of god to be released in this election for your will to be done in the name of jesus amen and have a blessed and awesome day god is indeed good and god loves us and he contends with those things that concern us be blessed
every time, every time.